Thousands of ultra-Orthodox Israelis disregard a ban on gatherings of more than 10 people to attend the funeral of a well-known rabbi, illustrating some of the challenges authorities have faced in enforcing coronavirus measures. The images also explain, at least in part, why Israel's COVID-19 infections are still on the rise. And this even as nearly a third of its population has been vaccinated. On Sunday, the Israeli cabinet voted to extend the nationwide lockdown for at least five more days, while a ban on nearly all incoming and outgoing flights will remain in place for another week. The renewed restrictions come as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has been accused of failing to enforce coronavirus measures because of political pressure from his ultra-Orthodox allies ahead of elections in March. Netanyahu, for his part, blames Israel's third wave of infections on the more contagious variants of the virus and has emphasized his government's rapid vaccination campaign. I can do something that other countries, I think, would like to do too, and they might be able to do it, and that is to inoculate millions of people in the time that I close the country and try to win the race between mutation and vaccination. Early vaccination data in Israel does make the light at the end of the tunnel visible. A preliminary study by the Israeli Health Ministry shows the Pfizer vaccine is 92% effective, though officials warn it will take several weeks to show effect.